good morning guys good morning i hope you guys are doing well so i just woke up i really struggled to sleep last night i don't know what happened um yeah i just could not sleep like i could not sleep i was literally just turning and turning initially i, I worked on my media kit because a brand was asking for it and i feel like since we've departed with deb's it's been really difficult for me i'm not gonna lie to you guys and you know this channel is all about being open and transparent i've really struggled because i've kind of had to start from zero um because i don't have any contacts for the brands that i've worked with i've tried and, and the thing is like none of these brands actually respond to their dms like it's actually annoying like i know sometimes i take a while to respond to people but i do but I don't want you guys to ever think that you're being ignored it's just sometimes for my mental health i have to take a, a, a break and not respond like for the past two weeks i've not really been active on instagram if i've posted it's like once a week just because mentally i feel like i was going through seasonal depression i'm not even gonna lie to you like the people close to me know and i know you guys probably felt the silence i just i have not been myself just because it's been so so difficult i've been trying to contact brands trying to look for their emails trying to reach out and nothing literally nothing so that has been very difficult for me um because i feel like i'm starting from scratch like all the contacts i had are very like old like three years old so in pr people move around so so quickly only a few brands i've managed to get through to uh, and i've managed to make some new contacts which is great a friend of mine in the industry helped me out with email um which i was so so grateful actually two friends actually yeah two girls that i know in the industry some i've never even met <laughs> but we're just so cool online and stuff like that they managed to help me with a few emails which is probably yeah which is why i managed to get in a few products a few pr so it's it's like a humbling experience i feel like that's what i am it's i feel like i'm starting from scratch it's very humbling like I never take for granted the fact that I get gifted things anyway, but it's very, very humbling. And I feel like brands are super, super tight at the moment just because of what's happening with the economy. Um, so it has been diff difficult. It has been difficult for me to, um, to be motivated, to be disciplined, to be inspired, to be all those things. I feel like I started to lose the passion for it. I started to um, not enjoy it anymore just because it felt like such hard work but I've been working on myself mentally and I feel like I'm becoming that girl again I'm becoming a douche again and you know I'm loving myself I need to fall in love with myself and my work even more because i know that my mind is such a powerful tool like i can literally do whatever i put my mind into um and especially when it comes to content creating i feel like i have the eye for it do you know what i mean and i have the vision for it it's just the discipline and the passion was missing just because it became a struggle so i want to start posting again um I want to watch my old videos just sometimes it's good to watch back your old videos just to get an idea of what it is that you were doing before and because what i was doing before worked like the fragrances was working um i guess because not many people were doing the fragrances back then i feel like now everybody pretty much speaks about fragrances so and that's what i mean about every day the, the industry is becoming very saturated because every day somebody decides to be an influencer like i'm not hating on you sis it's cool you can be whatever you want to be you can create a youtube channel do whatever but it just makes it super harder for the people who depend on this do you know what i mean so but i guess it's my cue to step up my game as well but anyway so i was thinking what for us to do today i want to do something fun i didn't want to be stuck in the house editing a vlog um so i was thinking i'm gonna have a quick shower i'm supposed to be fasting until three o'clock um so we might still do that but i've been dying to eat my granola and yogurt <laughs> I don't know why but you know what my face has been so bloated for the past two months 
because I was in the same place I wasn't moving I was I told you I, I was going through seasonal depression like when I stay in the same place my face goes so puffy it's a joke but it, I've been going to the gym consistently for the past three days and I told you guys I see the difference straight away straight away with my face um so i'm really happy that my face is going down change the hair back to the hair vivi wig you should have seen no you will see the application for this on sunday that's it but yeah so today i was like you know what i want to go to the shopping mall i want to go to the shopping mall and see what's new i don't know if i'm gonna buy anything i just want to go and try things get inspired see what's new because spring is here and i can see outside it's warm so let me go outside i'm not gonna put any makeup on just cash you know see what's new try bits on and show you what's new so you're gonna come shopping with me shopping <laughs> so yeah let me get ready i'm gonna jump in the shower now i wanted to just read my devotion quickly i'm reading the proverb book again let me take you to the bedroom let me take you to the bedroom <laughs> i haven't even washed my face guys i've got all these bits on the floor it shows you page 17 and it's talking about different ways that a proverb woman can be trusted by her man and like she will do him good okay but it's not just about men it's also just about how you should be and your character and stuff but on this page it's talking about that so what it says here is that he can trust her with his weakness he can trust her with his money he can trust her with his secrets he can trust her with his memories he can trust her with his fears he can trust her to be faithful sexually. He can trust her around his friends. He can trust her in his absence. She can be trusted. She is a Proverb 31 woman. She will do him good. She will do him good. It's a verse in third, uh, Proverbs 31 12. The Proverb 31 woman brings out the best in her man. She does. The worst often emerges when you are alone. The best can come out of you when you have the right people around you as a catalyst. Unlocking the greatest lying doormat within you. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labour. And if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be alone? And this is a Bible verse from, I can't say this verse, Elas, yeah, I'll write it. <laughs> I pray over this verse a lot because and it's not just about having a man you can even pray this verse for just having the right company in your life and I always remind God that he says that two are better than one because obviously you know I'm a single girl not as in I'm not married yet so I'm always praying for God's favor and I'm always praying that God you said two are better than one because they have good reward for their labor okay and if two lie together we have heat we are warm when you sleep alone at night you are cold do you know what i mean so i pray over this verse so so much and i want to become a proverb 31 woman so this is something that i i try to read one page each day there are so many other books which i need to read by the way i just want to start you know reading more and exercising my brain more because one thing i don't want to do is stop being a student of life I feel like sometimes I can get so caught up with everything and trying to create this, trying to create that. I stop being a student. I, I want to find new hobbies to do. So you guys list me what hobbies you like, what are the things that you like doing, um, which helps you to feel fulfilled, which helps you to feel fulfillment, which helps you to keep on your toes. I know this summer I want to learn to play tennis. I've been thinking about doing Pilates, but... I don't know I don't know if the hobby I'm looking for is like brunch with other women I, I want to create new um, female circle like entrepreneurship circle of women who are like-minded who can bounce ideas off each other maybe it's not so much friendship but if like friendship comes out of it great but I want to be around amazing women this book says blessing for the righteous the person of wisdom and understanding walk in the way of Lord and lives. 
and lives under the blessing of God. The direction of your life is set by your speech and it brings you into the place of expectations that God will grant you your desire for protection, preservation, long life, abundant provision and the removal of sorrow from your life. Amen. The wicked may enjoy some of these things but blessings is for reserved for the righteous. Mm. As a person who believes in Christ, you are righteous by faith and as you walk with faithfulness you also live a life of righteousness to honor his name this is amazing hey guys i'm back and ready to go out i've been waiting for my friend to come with me this is my outfit. I'm wearing this dress from H&M. I've got my recovery bra on because my other bra's dirty and I just needed the girls to be supported. So I'm wearing that. This dress is from H&M. It's just a simple uh, knitted dress. You've seen it before. Fragrance of the day. I'm doing Four Sun Blanc by Givenchy. This was kindly gifted. Thank you so much such a beautiful scent this is like an amber woody oud um fresh at the same time it's unisex it smells more like men's but it's unisex i love it it's fiery and you can definitely um layer this with something more sweet if you want to get that sweetness but there's definitely oud in here as well which i love i think it's so so nice um today what i did i sprayed it along with my lancome for layering and it's actually really really nice so i love that oh yeah that's a really really nice mix yeah beautiful if you want that sweetness this girl's taking too long so i'm gonna make my way to go because it's almost rush hour i'm doing mac chestnut liner one of my favorite To be fair, this is the only lip line I'm using at the moment. This, this lip gloss, oh my God, where's this from? Uh, I forgot what brand this is from, but it's called Love Letter and it's a nourishing lip uh, gloss. I really like it. So I'm gonna do that with my Dior Rosewood lip oil. I might do shades, I'm not sure. If I'm going to bring shades, because I think it was raining earlier. To be honest, no. I want my eyes to see everything as it is. So, yeah, I'm actually going to just quickly update my Instagram that I layered it with this, the fragrance, so that they can know. If, that they, if they want, they can try. My hands are quite dry. Let me find my hand cream. Oh gosh, I don't know where it is, guys. I just found one here from L'Occitane. It's a really small one, but I love the 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 other one in a grey package. It's really, really nice. It's very, very nourishing. Okie dokie. This is nice. Yeah. One thing I hate is having dry hands, dry lips, and dry feet. I really hate that. It's not my thing. I love for my skin to be soft. Guys, I feel so good this week. Glory to God, honestly. Glory to God. Whenever you feel like that, even my friend Ruth, she was like, Idush, whenever you feel depressed, down, like that's the time for you to get close to God. That's the time for you to pray. That's the time for you to read the word of God. And that's exactly what I've been doing. And I just feel so, so good. I'm ready to go out, meet new people. I'm ready. I feel like sometimes, anyway, we'll talk about it later. I need to go. <laughs> On my way out, guys, in the lift. This is my outfit. Trainers. Body warmer.
guys. I mean Zara with Roof. Roof Rose. <laughs> with pa uh, Paris. Paris. I'm with Paris Fashion Week girl. She's over there. So we've come to Zara to see what's new and try on some pieces. I need to start doing this, more of this, like come to the stores, try things on. I think after we're gonna go to H&M, maybe, to see what's new. And then I think, yeah, we'll take it, like I'll, I'll start doing that as well. Just to show you guys what's in the stores as well. I think it's interesting not to always film in the house. That's lovely. This is so nice. Guys, the hero, here are the pieces I've selected so far. I really like this one. Copy, guys. I really like this one. I like this as well. And we're going to see what else is new so that I can try it on. And hopefully give you ideas as well of what to buy. Let's shop. What do you think about this one? It's alright. I'm not really a fan. No? Mm -mm. I like the colorful shirt. This is nice. Yeah. Which one? What? No, well, my best of my papu I like this. Oh, that's cute. I think you have enough. I have something in gray. I'm talking about this. Yes. Do you know what? I feel like I'm over this. You know, I have so many things like this. It will look nice with like uh yeah, jean wa bongo. I think I'm going to try that's nice but I think I have something like this not exactly like this but similar yeah that's cute Change room. Ooh. We're in the changing room and we are about to try some stuff. We've got a massive change room to ourselves. <laughs> and then um, yeah, all right. Let me try on the first piece. Because you guys said last time that my friend wasn't happy. Oh wow. <laughs> she said she's, she's a she's a happy person. Oh, wow. She's happy. Yeah, I'm not here to prove you guys that I'm happy. I'm a happy person. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get trying one close so this is the first outfit let me show you roof's one no, let me put the shoes back on I don't like the shoes. <laughs> it's fine excuse but the it's, mess it's like it's not right you know excuse the mess but this is the outfit it's so cute let me show you through the mirror like it's so so cute <laughs> look at the mess <laughs> yeah come here this is her outfit and this is mine so she's wearing this beautiful tassel blazer that i picked out for her yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> it's a bit big. and then the pleated skirt i'm also going to try this on the shoes she says it's a bit big but I, I really like the look it's cute mine is really simple i saw this beautiful blue dress i love the color i think it's really really nice you guys know that i love um like knitted dresses for the spring even for the autumn winter but i think for spring this color is so nice yeah, this is the with some heels it's, it's simple it's in trend, yeah it's color. in trend yeah the yeah the color is very trendy even with this is very very trendy even together i feel like we look really nice like if we were going down like this together but i just need a nice jacket yeah the, the skirt's a bit big it was like this mm -hmm. 
so you need an extra small then so this is the material really really beautiful the color is very vibrant it's kind of like a peplum towards the end if you know what i mean it goes into a peplum really really nice i feel like yeah you could even wear like a shirt underneath if you want or you can wear it like this and then put like a short jacket to keep warm but this is really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and try it the next piece for you so this is ruth's outfit but i don't know the shoes though it goes though stand more like here please yeah this is really nice I love the blazer, the trousers, it's high-waisted. So this is the next outfit. It's a bit see-through, so hence why I've got my hands like this, because you can see the girls. Mm -hmm. So basically, I got the wrong size. Yeah, I told you, you don't listen. This is a medium, and the material is non-stretchy, so I should have got a, a large, even on the top as well. But I really like this thing. It's This is the material, close up it's really chic you guys know that i love a cord in the spring summer nothing beats it like nothing screams of um spring summer more than cold and this is really really nice the material but you definitely need to go a size up if you want to get this seems like everything i got today is the wrong size so the vision was to wear these gorgeous ripped jeans with this shirt but look <laughs> it doesn't close because Zara makes these non-stretch jeans and they're really hard. This is why I don't buy jeans from Zara, just because it doesn't fit me. And I'm a petite girl, but I have hips and I have body. So I need jeans that are stretchy. So I wanted to wear with this shirt just to create that really cool spring-like outfit, but it's not working. I look very strange. The fit is not good for me at all. So this is why it's important to know your body shape so that you can shop accordingly. Like I wouldn't, even if the sizes were fine, I wouldn't wear this out just because the jean is the wrong fit for me. This is going to make me look, look bulky and shorter and not in proportion. Even the shirt on top is making me look bigger than I am as well. So this is a no. The color's gorgeous. I feel like the shirt may work with a skirt so next outfit is this has not been an SSA successful shopping trip for me because everything i'm trying is the wrong size this is a medium it's too small it's either i'm fat <laughs> or zara sizing is a joke but i think we know this zara sizing has been a joke for a while usually usually uh, a medium fits me just fine but anyway, so you guys saw in my last haul, I had a very similar cardigan to this in a grey. Or, no, it wasn't grey. It was like, um, like a nude colour, I can't remember. But this time, they brought it back in white. And I've gone ahead and paired it with these pleated skirt. Even the skirt is too small for me. I picked up a size S. I don't know why. Don't ask me because I'm clearly not a size S. So this is, I like this outfit if the sizes were correct. And I don't know how I feel about this part, but I'm thinking if I got a large, it probably would just close and look like a blazer instead. So essentially this is like a, 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 a cardigan blazer. So I like, I love the colors. The color is really gorgeous of the skirts. I have a skirt like this in a cream color from h&m which i plan to wear it huh? a shirt this oh yeah you can wear this with the, the, the skirt that ruth is wearing but yeah i have a cream pleated skirt at home which i want to pair with like a a corset or like um a waistcoat like a white waistcoat which is what i need to order but this is really nice but i'm just annoyed about the sizing of zara but this is the look again i don't know i don't know how i feel about this part but i feel like this look is the best one yet definitely the best one yet since i've been here let me show you ruth's outfit so this is ruth's outfit the skirt is cute it's too big but 
she's really giving like auntie going to church vibe <laughs> yeah. i feel I like her, her whole outfit choices today has, has been giving church yeah literally it's giving pastor's auntie wife yeah, auntie, auntie ruth <laughs> it's giving pastor's wife <laughs> so guys i wanted to try this waistcoat with a skirt because i like the vibe i got it i got it in a medium and look it doesn't fit i don't know like i said to my friend i think it's me who's fat you know <laughs> maybe i've put on so much weight because i don't understand i don't understand like i actually don't understand why nothing fits me ah. all right guys so i managed to get a large in the top so you guys can get the vibe i don't think this is how i would wear it i would most likely wear this with trousers or jeans but just so that you can get an idea but to be honest this is not bad either it's not bad at all <laughs> i do feel like this is a bit big on the side uh what what's my bag doing there <laughs> I'm just getting, like, I'm joking. It's nice. The bag suits you. You should get it. If you buy it for me, yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why are you laughing? So I've come over here to actually see the fragrances. I think this is a new one. Hypnotic Vanilla Bloom. Ooh. This is really nice. It reminds me of a fragrance that I know. Hmm? This, this is nice. Smell this. This is really nice. It, it reminds me of a designer fragrance. Oh, smells good. Yeah, it smells so good and creamy. What does it smell like? Oh my God, that's all right. It reminds me of something, guys. That is so nice. Hypnotic Bloom. It look on the cover. With the blue cover? Yeah, the blue cover. It reminds me of Poison Girl by Dior. And Hypnotic Poison. This is so good. That's nice as well. I have that in a small one. But I have the small one. It's small as I can be. Yeah. Twelve ninety nine. But I feel sure. I like that one. That was really time. nice. Yeah, it's really creamy. Oh, it looks like that. This one is really nice as well. A classic for me from Zara. <laughs> Don't watch my nails. <laughs> and I also like this. This one smells like. Um, Why so libre? 